first experience in clinical trials was when I was training as a fellow in endocrinology. Some people actually know what they want to do from the very beginning and I'm not I'm not one of those. There's no endocrinology subspecialty in the Ministry of Health, in fact. It was only very well established in the universities. Uh, and actually, when my boss or my trainer supervisor came back, she was the first endocrinologist. And uh, straight on, when she came back, I started training under her. Well, in the beginning, it was not too difficult because, you know, being a co-I, you're not having so much responsibility and the number of trials involved at that time were very few, maybe one at any time. But I think uh, recent years, uh, especially in Putrajaya, we're having a lot of trials. Because we work in a team, so we can actually allocate uh, different days of the week uh, for uh, research, different days of the week for our clinics and our ward rounds and um, it has worked out so in terms of investigator potentially you know here we have about six or seven that could be involved in a clinical trial for our study coordinators we're very lucky in the past it was uh, we had to actually look for our own but now with the established CRC and uh, study coordinators here and they're all 100% doing clinical trial work. It's been very superb actually. I'm just so happy that it's reached this stage. Of course, patient recruitment is a challenge, especially with diabetes trials. Um, we being a tertiary centre taking care of diabetes patients often don't have the type of patients that these trials, you know, new, new diabetes drugs are looking for. So what I foresee is actually you need more primary care sites, uh, you know, uh, and primary care physicians to be PIs for a lot of diabetes trials because they're really looking for very patients with very early diabetes, newly diagnosed. Um, I think in general, I would say that uh, most of them, if you ask them, they will say they've truly benefited from a trial. I can see that they are uh, very comfortable because of the, you know, very close attention they get. And then, you know, sometimes with the trial protocol, you get all the additional investigations that you don't get in the routine hospital setting. And uh, I think they just become more in tune with their current disease and more up to date with what therapies are available and, and it's just worked very well for diabetes at least but you know I've worked hard to try and get the pituitary trials in and um, we're very happy to say you know as of last year we've got a trial in Cushing's disease which is pituitary tumor for Cushing's disease we've got a trial for acromegaly which is also pituitary tumor related and we've also got a trial for growth hormone deficiency and all these kind of very rare things don't usually come here you know so somehow or other, you know, with the saying that, oh please, you know, if you do have, come over. And I think we have managed to fulfill the recruitment, at least for the Cushing's trial. And these patients are actually able to receive the most up-to-date therapies and are really benefiting from it. I'm very proud to say that we have progressed well. We now have actually uh, 30 endocrinologists in the Ministry of Health. And we have endocrinologists in every state except for um, Perlis. But Putrajaya, we have uh, the biggest number of endocrinologists and team. Actually, every state hospital now is like a referral centre for the state. Lah. If you want to say regional, then we do have Penang, Putrajaya, Johor Bahru. Uh, East Coast is not very well developed but we do have endocrinologists there and then Sabah and Sarawak. Putrajaya is a very new hospital, it's uh, you know, only been in operation since about 2000-2001 and we've had clinical trials running here since then. So um, I think uh, probably the experience of being in the diabetes trials for at least a decade or so so that's the strength. My advice is um, I think it really is an area which uh, can improve your overall uh, career uh, and profession that if you do get involved in trials there's a different aspect from the uh, you know um, daily clinical practice and um, it does also keep you really up to date because uh, when you do get involved in trials you actually looking at the forefront of uh, uh, medicine in that area that you are specializing in especially with the newer drugs or newer interventions that they are putting forward so you have that benefit of being 
you know at the edge uh, and knowing what is coming up in the future <laughs> and also having the privilege to sometimes know this outcome of these trials as an investigator the privilege to to hear the discussion with the experts you know and hear the preliminary results and understand the results better and therefore you can translate this to your peers uh, better.